So here's the issue. I have a desktop which I use to make videos. I have a laptop which I use to do schoolwork at school. I am a teacher. Imagine being bored instead of watching my video. So because of my very hectic work schedule, I can't always be home editing videos. And sometimes I work, I do have 30 minute breaks where I wish I could edit my videos, but I can't because I'm not home. So here are two solutions I can go for. Either I can use Chrome Remote Desktop where I can control my desktop from my laptop. The problem is it gets super laggy when I'm trying to do something heavy. Or I could use Google Drive to save my video files. This easily works with something like my schoolwork because it's just a Word file. Any edits and saves that I do for my laptop will be reflected on my desktop because it's all on Google Drive. And they also have an app that you can download that will show up as full on your computers. They would act more like files on your computer than a link to a web browser. Now the question remains, aside from editing a word file, can it handle editing a video file? And how much can I add to that video before it completely destroys Google Drive? Let's find out. First things first, make sure that both computers are equal in power. Some people in here believe that they can video edit using an HP laptop from 2001. First thing you need to make sure is that you gotta pretend that Google Drive is a computer itself. So every folder that you use for video editing, which would be sound effects, JPEGs for videos, GIFs, sound effects, overlays etc etc and you want to make sure that you have your adobe file in there and the reason you want to make sure you got space is because you got to put your raw footage in there for this to work just pretend that google drive is the computer and you use your desktop or laptop for the software that's it now wherever you're working from make sure you open your files from google drive do not open them from a local hard drive so right off the bat everything seems to be running smoothly my biggest concern was that the internet speed was going to cause the hard drive speed to be low slow and that's the biggest concern for video editing what you want is for the software to get a raw footage as fast as possible from wherever it's stored now, google Google Drive doesn't tell me how fast it is from megabits per second. I mean, even in a Tesla using my phone's hotspot, it runs smoothly. Now, just for the sake of time, here's basically what I did. I did a very quick edit on my desktop and I wanted to see if it reflected on my laptop. And this is what happened. What are we dropping, boy? And, uh, yeah. And then Oh yeah, you most wanted, you heard? Now everything seems to work flawlessly. Now all that's missing is that I make a full edit, and if you're curious to see when that comes out, check the link in the comments section, it's already out. I'm quite literally editing this on a plane. God, I love technology when it fucking works. It's a good joke. It's a great joke even. If you guys want early access to my videos, I have a Patreon set up for this. All of my future videos are uploaded right now and you can get access to them right away. Also, my best friend Finn is suffering with autoimmune and she needs a lot of help with medical bills. So if you guys can make a donation, links in the description below, please help.